So you want to make more sales and you're trying all the social media stuff, all the marketing stuff, but have you tried email automation yet? And if you have, what's your open rate? Hey there, my name is Brad Smith. Today, I want to walk you through my three first emails that I always send through automation to any new leads. Now, if you're a business, I hope you have a lead magnet or a landing page with your website to get more leads coming from your marketing channels and your efforts. But if you don't and you just have your website, you should definitely consider setting up a lead magnet or a landing page to get more leads to sign up. What we want to do is build a relationship with somebody through those emails to get them to remember you and come back and buy from you in the future. Now, if you take a look at my screen here, I'm going to walk you through my first three emails that I always send to get 180 to 100 percent open rate on these first three emails. So a couple tips. Tip number one is you never want to add any images or more than three links in your first few emails or else you'll start going to the promo folder and even the spam folder. So if you take a look at email number one here, I'm gonna click through here, you'll see that this is plain text email. So you can see, let me just make my window a little wider. This email is plain text. It looks like I sent it directly from my Gmail account to the person. What this does is it removes any flags from Outlook or Gmail saying this is a promo folder, but most importantly, it makes it look like I personally sent it, which gets a better open rate. And when you send something that's plain text and personal like this, short and to the point, you're going to get higher open rates, more replies, more clicks, and most importantly, more open rates. Now, the first email needs to be asking them to respond back. If you can get somebody to respond back in your first email, you'll stay in their inbox for at least three more emails. And that's the key is you want to think of your emails in sets of three. If you send four emails and they don't open any of the four, most likely you can assume you're in their spam or promo folders. But if they open or respond back to one of the three that you send, you'll stay in there for three more emails. And that's really the key is what's the point in sending emails, no matter how good or pretty they look, doesn't matter if nobody ever sees them. All right, so email number one is you want to say, hey, please confirm your email. We want to almost double opt them in. We know that they signed up for our lead magnet or landing page. And if you need any help with a landing page or lead magnet, that's what we do. We increase conversion rates. So make sure you reach out. I've got a landing page that you can copy and paste into your business that we know converts very well. So once somebody opens this, it looks like you personally sent it. They're going to respond back yes. Now that opens up an email thread with them and yourself, and you'll stay in their inbox for a long time from here, which is going to be really key. Next one is we want to either send one immediately after they respond. If you want to get into automation or just assume they're going to respond, you can set up triggers. I know if somebody responds, my next email will go out, giving them the exact resource that they asked for. Or if you want to just send an email the next day, with more information, that is going to be the key. You want to send these first three emails over a period of three to four days. So what I have is email one goes immediately. They respond back. Yes. Email two is going to be same exact thing. And we want to avoid promotion and spam folders. So you can see here that I only have one link at the top and two links at the bottom and zero images. So you want to avoid any more than three links. So two links at the most. You also want to keep them short. Neil Patel, one of the top marketers in the world, he suggests keeping your email to around 250 words in length. Now, this format I'm showing here is the mo most open and click format. You have one sentence at the top. You use the person's name. You've got one link. You've got three bullet points telling them what to expect and then another question. So now they can go reference the link, get the free guide and the resource that you promised them. And you can get a little bit more information showing that you care and you want to know more about them by asking them a question like I do. What's your website URL so I can go investigate and see if we'd be a good fit. Last but not least is email number three. And this is where we want to give them value. We want to build a relationship with them. We want to give them something that has worked for somebody else. You want to make it relatable and you want to add a story. So you can see right here. I've had a client, Kevin, that's been using my method. So I'm using a story. And then you want to talk about somebody like them, another client. They could be a client and they could get results like this as well. 
three bullet points like I showed you in the past. So we've got one set, one to two sentences at the top, three bullet points, and then the call to action to go to my blog where this has a va really valuable video, podcast, and blog posts that can serve as a resource to provide a ton of value to them. So then they're learning from me and I'm providing value. So after these first three emails, I've sent them something that they, they asked for that can help them. Then I'm send them to another resource with a video so I can build a relationship through video. And now I'm in their inbox. So now whatever I send them from now on, they'll receive. And I know that they're opening it. They're probably clicking on it. And that's what's going to lead to a sale. So if you need any help with your emails, your email automation or CRM, make sure you reach out to me at automationlinks.com. You'll find the link to this free guide that you can get access to and copy these three emails into your CRM or email marketing software so you can start getting better open rates, clicks, and most importantly, sales from your emails. Thanks again for watching. I hope this video brought you a ton of value and I'll see you on the next one.